Hello, welcome to NAB 2015. Uh, I'm Guy, we're at the Oart booth at the 4Designer station. Uh, well, 4Designer is the new generation of 3Designer, which is the basic designer and the authoring software for Oart, for all the different products, from a simple owner graphics to a full virtual set, uh, and interactive applications, of course, combining with different controllers that Oart provides. Everything is based on 3Designer. This is our current designer. This is 3Designer. This is the latest version that clients currently have. Um, and this is the new 4Designer. As you can see, the very first thing you see is the new design for the GUI. And as you can see, it's very modern, very, very different from the previous version. And of course, as you can see, the first thing also is that we kept the same a way of workflow basically, you still have the tree, you still have the render engine, and you still have basically the same kind of layout and workflow that you had before in 3Designer. We didn't want to change uh, the entire workflow completely. One of the main features we have in 4Designer, which is very important to existing clients, who already use 3Designer and build really complex and high logic scenes, uh, is the ability to basically open anything that was built in 3Designer in previous versions and support backwards. For a very simple example, I have a scene here for titles in 3Designer that was built in 3Designer originally. And as you can see, I opened the same scene in here and I can play and it looks exactly the same, supported every font, every text, everything stays the same. Any logic you did before, animations, connection, functions, whatever you had before in 3Designer will be exactly the same in 4Designer. Uh, regardless of the new features, anything that was built before can be done here. Of course, 4Designer is 64-bit native render engine and software which allows us basically to do a lot of more like complex and heavier stuff. Uh, we can load scenes that are much heavier for example as you can see here I can open an entire scene that is a full virtual set and you see how quick it loads very very fast on a local uh, render engine it's not even a machine you can see how fast it works. Let's go over some of the new features we have uh, in, in 4Designer. Okay, one of the main features also we have in 4Designer is the ability to import new formats for 3D geometry. Now we support OBJ, FBX and 3DS as well. And also the familiar VRML and Colada that we had before. And for example, you can see in 3D Max, I just downloaded a very simple uh, chopper. I fixed all the textures and everything exactly where I want them and make sure everything is in the folders I need them, in our G basically. I exported the chopper previously to FBX file and very easily I can do file import 3D geometry <laughs> and choose my helicopter process and as you can see very quickly it comes in with all the textures and everything and all the basic parts that I need and of course I can play and move whatever I want in the chopper and whatever piece I have available to me. One of the cool features that we have also in 4Designer, which is a big issue when you, when you import uh, 3D objects into a virtual set, you want to create a reflection on the floor. In the virtual set, you need to copy, connect, do a function, build all the logic you need for this to animate and everything. So we just added a simple tool. We, had a, we added a mirror tool, which basically I can drag my pre-made iPhone that I have uh, saved in my assets and very easily I just select the object, mirror tools, vertical, fixed light, whatever I want and set up for my reflection. I hit OK. As you can see, it creates a mirror object. I just position it wherever I want. And the beautiful part is now it's all connected, ready to animate. I just need to apply whatever I want on the original object and it will reflect automatically on my duplicate mirror. Now, with the import we did before with the FBX and using this awesome tool, I can very simply create stuff like this. I have my virtual set. I want a chopper flying in. So I just imported my chopper. I used my mirror tool. You can notice on the reflection on the floor. Any animation I applied on the original object is now applied here. I have a reflection. All the animations I did in 4Designer. Okay, of course, FBX supports animations. Um, and that's very, very cool. 
one more very cool feature we have here also is we're actually developing now more primitives and more shapes that allows you to create basically more complex shapes and textures or basically cuts. You don't need to create everything in Photoshop, apply it as a texture to create a special cut or a shape. And basically, what you can see, we have now a rounded rectangle. We can create different shapes with different angles. Of course, I can play with everything I want. I can create any shape. I have more flexibility with the shapes I have. I can create holes in the middle. So any complex shape I want, I don't have to rely anymore on building all the texture I have in Photoshop in order to create different angles and cuts. So that's nice. This allows us to actually do scenes exactly like this one, which basically allows me, these shapes are already made. Everything is made in for designer okay? There's no texture to create a special cut. It allows me to work exactly the same way as before, just everything is more easier and efficient and takes less resources because I'm using actually less textures and everything is native in for designer okay of course besides all these cool features we have a lot a lot a lot more stuff but if you want to see them come visit us at nab 2015 at the ors booth before designer i'll be waiting <laughs>